in the next phase, let me go to my go to ideation tool. I already created myself to scale some drawings. So you see here all the the nightstands and this and um, this object and this object which I circled over. These are uh, representations for the bed frame and the mattress. So I can then to scale continue drawing accurate rectangles and I was always trying to see how high from the ground is something away, how um, how deep it is and also I have an iPad Pro. How big is the iPad Pro in relationship to this furniture piece. So the top are square uh, front and the bottom are top views of the same idea. And then also you, it's not bad to get some inspiration. It, you go to uh, the browser and look up well, what offerings are there. Maybe there are interesting features or details you like. For example, here, this was interesting. Uh, uh, a wooden box on top and then a soft piece below. Maybe an open design or a box with the legs next to it. So there, there is a visual focus put onto these legs. This was quite interesting because it was just a box and very long legs with very minimal joinery, just a metal uh, socket. This one here, they, as you can see, they have mitered edges. My mitered edges are actually better. <laughs> or different variations, a top plate and then the, the front drawer that's actually then flush with the bottom. As you can see, I also put some notes below. Just so when you see these images, you start collecting data. And then in the next round, I started very crudely hatching out different layouts. For example, in this case here, an asymmetrical design so that um, I have a board that's next to the bed and then the legs go away from the bed or more symmetrical. What about we break with this idea of a box where a drawer goes in and just make this more an irregular shape with a vertical slot where I could, for example, put an iPad onto. Um, well, what about instead of one box, I do two boxes, different proportions. Or unusual, maybe the bottom part is actually at an angle. All the time everything is flat. Well, why not at an angle? So kind of like breaking also with, with common uh, perceptions or how things should be. And this is a very good exercise to, to do this because um, I don't necessarily really focus on tiny details and get caught up. Uh, in perfecting those, but are much more think about in broader terms about the concept. How do I want to use this part? And then, let me turn off the measurements, comes one session where I start measuring materials and also based on these materials start creating more accurate drawings. That, for example, now is a good moment to think about, okay, so before I really get specific, how I'm going to build it, what type of material do I want to use? Sand plywood, hardwood plywood, do I actually want to go with particle, MDF, uh, do I go maybe with an OSB, even while this is more construction grade material, but it can actually have its charm, or do I go with more expensive materials and use, for example, a, a hardwood, uh, plywood. So when I cut it, I have a really nice, um, as you can see, the, the different levels, uh, not levels, layers. It's also a cost question, particularly when you're new to this, I would not really <laughs> go and buy the more expensive material. Try to use something cheap so when you make mistakes, and probably you will make, make mistakes, it's not going to be a problem. And it's also good for prototyping. 
All these yellow lines, you see there, they are just dimensional lines, which I, I have there, so when I turn dimensions on, I can quickly see it. Also, the legs, do I go with two inch diameter? Do I go with 1.25 inch diameter? I really like having all these materials in my hand, so I bought them all, so I could just compare and then touch them. Qu quite quickly, I settled on the idea that I would like to have a box and more that is more uh, squarish. So in in this quick sketch, you see here a top view, a three quarter front and a three quarter back. I put in details that the front is actually mitered. So you see here, this edge is actually uh, at an angle. This one there, so that's the front instead of just being uh, 90 degree. Because I visually really like this and also wanted to do this as a challenge.